Okay. Uh, step one is we're going to fit the iron to the uh, to the plane body. Now it's a little tight right there, so I'm going to take this file and I'm going to take about a sixteenth of an inch or so off either side. So not only can the blade fit in nicely, but there's just a little bit will be a little bit of side to side movement so that uh, I can true the cutting edge to the sole during planing operation. Okay, I'm going to put a little reference mark here to test oh, right about there. Put a pencil line there. And spin it around. Put the same pencil line there. So that I have a reference on how much to remove with the file. Okay, we did our little bit of filing, just took a few seconds, and we'll fit the blade in, right way too, and there we go. And we have just about a sixteenth of an inch play, which allows us to uh, uh, align the blade left to right, this way, just a bit so that we can get a, a perfect cut as we're smoothing. So, on to step two, or on the next step, which will be uh, flattening the sole. Okay, the next step is going to be to true the sole up. We have a few cracks here, and I may fill those, but they're not too bad. Anyway, the next step will be to flatten the sole, and they'll, we'll do this the same way I did on, uh, uh, we'll show it, but the same way we did the block plane. We need to insert the iron into the plane, this way, but retracted some with the wedge installed because that flexes the body slightly this in this direction. So we need that to be there when we flatten the plane on a reference surface and sandpaper so that it's true during uh, actual planing action. Okay. So uh, I've previously established that this table is uh, good and flat. I put down some 120 grit sandpaper and taped it in place. And we'll, uh, the blade is set. The wedge is set tight. The blade is set uh, just slightly above the sole of the plane, so that it doesn't touch sandpaper. But it flexes. It puts the body under tension in places where it needs to be. And then we just rub back and forth. And we check our progress. Contact there, there, there. It's going to go fairly quickly. This uh, blue tape that I'm using doesn't hold very good, so... Okay, we put contact here and here, and we just keep this up until we have contact everywhere. Okay, we have contact everywhere that we need it to be, and uh, we're about done with this part. Okay, I thought I'd show you how to remove an iron from one of these old planes. Uh, grasp this, grasp the iron and the wedge, and then you strike on the rear. It comes out. To adjust, you adjust the plane blade as needed and tighten slightly. I don't know if you can see this slight hook here at the end of the blade. That's from tapping it this way. That's to increase the depth of cut or either side to adjust its um, 
the depth of cut from side to side so that you get a, uh, an even cut on both the left and right sides as you're smooth planing. Okay. Okay, the, the uh, tape wasn't holding, so I thought I'd do it this way and show you. This works well, too. I just grasp it like this, put even pressure all over the plane, and just rub it back and forward. Actually, a little bit more pressure in the forward direction like I would actually plane. I don't know that it makes a lot of difference, but uh, it replicates how I would plane, and so might be more accurate. There we go. And we have contact everywhere, but and even some right here, slightly. And I think that's good enough. Okay. On to sharpening the blade.